Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you this very nice TCP 175 watt probe start metal halide bulb. Now this particular bulb was bought at a restore in Tempe, Arizona for about 3 or 4 dollars. So that was really nice and cheap if you ask me. Now I've had this bulb for a very, very long time. I bought this bulb back in July of 2019, so I've had this bulb for 11 months. So that is a ridiculously long time, if you ask me. But anyways, let's not waste any more time and let's look at the etch real quick. Also known as the information about this Pro Start Metal Halide Bulb made by TCP. Sorry for that bell in the background. So I'm going to go ahead and point it into some light source so we can get a good view of the focusing. So there's not really much on there. So you can see the company name obviously and the logo as well, TCP. And of course, we have the bulb code on our left, MH175 watt slash U, meaning universal burning position. I will be also putting the burning position in the description below of this video, so you'll see that as well. And the letter R means that this bulb will emit UV radiation if it punctures, breaks, or cracks, or shatters. And of course is our ANSI code, which is obviously the M57, because that's what 175 watt probe start metal halide bulbs run on. And of course, I don't know if you can see it, it's upside down. It's the warning symbol of Mercury. So there it is right there. I'm not sure if you can get a good glimpse of it. Right here's the product number, and there's its phone number. The product number is basically like, you know, the ordering product number of this bulb. So you can basically search up TCP and the product number and then therefore you can find this lamp and then you can buy it online. There's its phone number and obviously the company name and there's its logo. And not much on the etch so let's look at the construction real quick of this lamp. I first have to clean it because there's a lot of finger fingerprints on it so. And again sorry for the bell in the background. So Sorry, I know this looks weird, but anyways, let's look at the construction right now. So, you can see the stem right there, of course, and the exhaust tube, little tiny exhaust tube. You can see that the base is glued on or torqued on onto the glass of the lamp when it's made. Of course, that the, the stem right there, the two wires poking out of it, you can see all the wires and the welding process to connect to the arc tube to produce the metal halide white light. We obviously have the dimple for extra support. Let me give that a focus. There we go. There's the probe start resistor. And there's the probe start circuit. I don't know if you can see this inside the arc tube, but that's where the probe circuit takes place. There it is right there. And you can see some metal straps supporting the arc tube as well. And there's a little tip on the arc tube to suck out all of the normal air and replace it with pressurized argon gas at around 50 PSI, which is really high. So, and we also have a very nice hard aluminum base with a ceramic insulator. Unpolished, meaning rough. So, anyways, um, that's it for the construction. I might as well give you some specifications about this lamp and then I'll turn it on. So this particular metal halide bulb here produces 14,000 lumens, so it's equivalent to a Philips 175 watt probe start metal halide bulb. And I do have a few of those lamps. I have a coated one and about, I don't know, let's just say about five clear. Some of them are medium based as well, so that's that. And I also forgot to show you that this bulb has never been used because you can see the little mercury ball rolling around in the arc tube and the halide salts rolling around as well. There you can see the halide salts, sodium iodide and bromide in the arc tube, waiting to be ionized and vaporized. So anyways, um, I already said the lumen output, it said it was 14,000. And um, the average lifetime on this bulb is 10,000 hours. That's what a typical 175 watt metal halide bulb usually has. And once again, sorry for the bell in the background, I cannot control it. But um... Anyway, the color temperature of this bulb is 4000K or cool white, and this bulb is obviously not dimmable because this is an arc lamp. So, anywho, um, 
And obviously the burning position is universal, according to the etch on the bulb and the arc tube, because it has two coatings of ceramic. So, and however, the color, the color is white, but over a week ago, I made a, um, a green metal halide bulb video, which is my plus right 400 watt probe start green metal halide bulb. And if you haven't seen that, you can check it out in the home channel page of my channel name. So there's that. Now, I believe that's that. We're gonna go ahead and give this bowl a shot and we'll see how it starts up. And the fixture that I'm using is, get this, a pole lamp. I have a ballast equipped on the pole lamp and it's plugged in into the pole lamp. And therefore, it goes all the way up there near that Broncos flag. So, and also, always wear welding goggles when testing high intensity lamps because they have very high lumen outputs and they can blind you very badly so that's why I'm gonna wear welding goggles for this uh, demonstration here so I'm gonna go ahead and put it on all right now we'll put the bulb in the fixture and we'll see what colors it gives off and hopefully there will be no issues with the arc tube whatsoever just because metal halide bulbs have a very nasty habit of arc tube rupture which means that the arc tube will actually explode and cause high temperature quartz fragments to um, fly out of the lamp. And plus, this is an enclosed graded lamp because it's it has the letter E meaning enclosed. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and um, set the camera right here on this pole lamp so you can get a good view of the arc tube and the whole bulb itself. And um, I don't know how I'm gonna set this up. Probably it's gonna probably look something like this and hopefully I'm not where near any live or electrical live wires so I don't get shocked from the high volts and such. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and turn on this lamp. Here we go. Anyway, the lamp is at full brightness and it is ridiculously bright in here. 
even for a 175 watt middle halide bulb, still very bright. But anyways, uh oh, the arc is in a curve. I'm gonna have to shut it off soon. But anyways, I really hope you enjoyed this very nice TCP 175 watt probe start middle halide bulb. And as always, please comment, rate, and subscribe. And thank you all so much for watching.